everybody, it's Scott and Kendra with Guru Reviews reporting live for Geek Pride Spooky Empire 2021. And of course, Mr. Alberto back behind the camera, Mr. <laughs> videographer, <laughs> who without we would have no audio, no video. We certainly wouldn't hit record and not have audio because he <laughs> takes care of all that for us. But it is Saturday. It is exciting. The place is packed. It's yes. hopping. Much There's busier a, than yesterday. A lot of freaky deaky kids around. Yes. I can't complain. I was coming to horror conventions yes. <laughs> since I was that big. And look how I turned out. Yeah. And uh, speaking of spooky kids, uh, my dad, he did check out the vendor's room a little bit yesterday. Yes. He mentioned that there's a booth selling spooky kid masks. Uh, so we're going to go check that out. Spend, spend most of the day. Demonic dolls. This doll yeah. that <laughs> I walked by the booth and it had like a, a veil over it that just, I heard the voice like, Stop. Yeah. <laughs> freaked out. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, it's coming to get me. I yeah. freaking kids. But so. tons of cosplayers here today. I wouldn't even call it, they're horror enthusiasts because they are just paying homage to <laughs> paying homage to all the big horror greats, Freddy, Jason, lots of Sam from Trick or Treat floating around. But we're gearing up for the Cenobite makeup. Actually, demonstration. Demonstration, yeah. yes. And he's created a brand new Cenobite, so we're gonna be watching that whole application so we can show people how to really take a, an original Cenobite from idea to creation, to prosthetic and application, which is a really cool process. And then later tonight, Burlesque 2.0, yes. I've been uh, quarantined <laughs> 50 feet back from the door since I tried to videotape. So I get to go to bed and edit, and the kids get to go in there and have fun and tell me all about it, which is probably best for me anyway. <laughs> And then yeah. uh, at some point it's either cosplay, not tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, they have the kids cosplay contest today, which actually sounds like it's starting. So we'll get a little bit of footage of that. Yes. Um, and yeah, big cosplay contest is tomorrow. Very exciting. So we'll be checking in throughout the day. So let's get into it. Rolly slime and goo, werewolves howling, zombies drool. Something's waiting in the dark to jump out and yell boo. Monsters roaming everywhere, tag along if you dare. You will have a night of frights and fun beyond compare. Once again, the full moon glooms, children dress in costumes. Jack o' lanterns come alive and sing this British tune. Witches fly upon their brooms, spirits rise from their tombs. Creatures of the night will hunt for candy to consume. Little kitties, all beware of fears and frights and sneaky scares. Ghosts and goblins prowl about to catch you unaware. Better find a good disguise to blend in if you're wise. Go from door to door and you'll collect a sweet surprise. Creepy crawlers slide and goo, werewolves howl, the zombies drool. Something's waiting in the dark to jump out and yell boo! Monsters roaming everywhere, tag along if you dare. You will have a night of frights and fun beyond compare. Look out, take care. Ghosts and goblins prowl about to catch you unaware. Don't run, don't scream. They just want to wish you all a happy Halloween. And when they're through, they'll leave you with a final boo. Hey everybody, I'm Scott. And I'm Kendra. We're with Google Reviews, I can speak today, reporting live for Geek Pride. We're here at Spooky Empire 2021, feeling at home in roots with horror around us. And just by happenstance, we happen to run into two fellow YouTubers that are on a completely different level than us. Some amazing things. They're at NU Film, and I just found out I've been missing this crazy mashup of, what's it, the, the Wimpy Diary, Kid Diaries? The diary Wimpy Kid and I heard Alien, so you know, was when I hear <laughs> Alien, everything shuts down on the left or right hemisphere. See, I, my dad likes aliens. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But, so we're super excited. I'm kind of fanboying at the moment. Yes, in, in and we've got my roots Brendan and, yeah. and Alea. No relation to Frasier. No. <laughs> and now Leia was very sweet and very lovely. So you folks have been uh, doing YouTube about three or four minutes, I take it. You said 50,000, 50 million views on something like that? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, we've, uh, we've been doing YouTube uh, pretty much uh, consistently since 2017. Uh, we're, we're independent filmmakers, and uh, one of the most difficult things once you make a feature film is to get an audience interested in your film. And uh, uh, so we, we produced two feature films before this, but we thought, well, why don't we start a YouTube channel and try to build an audience there and possibly promote our fe future feature films to that audience. So that's been kind of the idea with it, but we actually found out in growing the YouTube channel, that's uh, both more profitable and uh, just more fun to do than, yeah. than to constantly produce feature films. So it's kind of become its own thing. Uh, and we've kind of shifted creatively to doing YouTube more or less full time. So, oh, believe me, we have tons of fun doing it. Yeah. You know, and and I think that's what kept us 
grounded. We're not that high off the ground. But because <laughs> of, of the, the commonality of fun that we have with that and aspiring to do other things, but you, you handled it a different approach, mm-hmm. but it, and, and quite successfully, I'll say. But but that is that is fantastic because yeah, I mean to, to have the relationship. So uh, you guys are engaged. I don't know if I'm allowed to put that publicly. Spoken for. But <laughs> you are a couple, so that's also very cool. Kind of keeping it keeping it in the family, yeah. like my dad and I. So that's that's very cool too. Um, yeah. So if you want to give us inf- any information on your short films, about your YouTube channel, anything you want to plug for us, Absolutely. sure. So uh, what we're most known for, for on the YouTube channel is Diary of a Wimpy Alien. So that's our Diary of a Wimpy Kid and Alien mashup. Um, we were only planning on doing one of those, uh, at a three-minute short film, and that just blew up on YouTube. Um, that uh, its first summer received about four million views. Wow. Uh, so we were like, okay, let's make a sequel. So we made a sequel, and then a third. And a fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And, uh, so right now we're working on episodes 12 through 15, uh, which is technically season two of Diary of a Wimpy Alien. The series itself has over 50 million views on the channel. So we are just thank you so much to thank all of you. our uh, subscribers, everyone that comments, likes the channel. Thank you so, so much. Uh, we really would not be doing Wimpy Alien without you guys. So if you're fans, thank you. Um, and something that was really cool with this um, going into season two of Wimpy Alien is this is the first time that we got to collaborate with another YouTuber. Um, so Trent Duncan who is another local filmmaker in the area. He does um, the epic horror battles, Icons of Horror, uh, and his third Icons of Horror is coming out. That's very successful uh, on YouTube as well. And so we had our lead character, Greg Zinli, show up in Icons of Horror 3, and then we had Trent Duncan show up as one of our um, new characters in season two of Diary of the Wimpy Alien. So it was just a lot of fun being able to collaborate with local filmmakers, a fellow YouTuber, uh, and we are showing 11 of our short films here at the festival, including the very first Diary of a Wimpy Alien uh, and 10 others. So some old ones that we made in 2017 and a bunch of new ones that we made during the pandemic. Uh, so that was that we call it quarantine with a green screen. And we did a lot of that yeah. <laughs> during the pandemic. So um, so you get to see me play Egon from Ghostbusters, the part I was born to play. She's typed for it, clearly. 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 Um, and a bunch of other stuff. So um, we, we love to have fun. We love our comedies. We love our parodies. There's a lot of, you know, like, crap going on in the world right now so we like to bring joy and comedy into the world because I like making fun of stuff <laughs> we like to laugh yeah <laughs> so that's uh, what we're here uh, this weekend yeah. uh, at Spooky and Fire for. very cool very yeah. cool and we're gonna have to get a picture I just noticed her her uh, earrings are actually alien very cool I was like I've been looking show, I'm show like, off your shirt yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah there's alien earrings and then of course our uh, <laughs> this is our, um, oh our my god. hashtag cringe, which our alien, our wimpy alien, oh. is very cringy. Uh, so um, <laughs> this is our one of our shirts from, this is our Greg Zinli, wimpy alien character. You can buy this at Teespring you on can. our YouTube channel. You can. Yeah. <laughs> All these little check boxes in my uh, head are just going, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Thought of it, they implemented it. I love it, it's great, fantastic. Yeah. And, and, and lucky for you to find a lovely lady like this who happens to be just an absolute crazy nut about aliens. That's, that, you have a sister, do you? Yeah, I was going to say, do you have a sister? I'm looking, I, I'm looking for a stepmom. I'm, not, I'm too. I don't know if she's into aliens as much as I am. That's so, true, yeah. So, Maybe um, a close second with Predator? <laughs> well, I am. I'm such a nut, and this has been such a huge part of our life since 2017. We didn't know it was going to be. Uh, I will be getting a wimpy alien tattoo at some oh, point. Yes, yeah, yes. so um, I play. Uh, I Greg, will not, but no, yeah, no, she no, will. He's afraid, he's afraid of needles. So, um, but I play both Greg Zinli, who is the masked character as an alien, because uh, I guess I have a wimpy body type, um, and uh, I play Ripley, the his yeah. the love interest as well. Uh, so that's interesting playing the Greg and love interest uh, Ripley. Uh, so I I want both of them as you know the cartoon versions like on our channel. Um, I want a tattoo version of that. Yeah. So I'm sure we'll make. A, a video when I get my tattoo. It'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Fantastic. Well, we're definitely looking forward to a collaboration in the future. Yes. Awesome. I got plenty yeah. of alien stuff yes. to just bribe you with. <laughs> we love aliens. So. And we actually have two last questions we've been asking everybody. Uh, so, what's your favorite horror movie? Oh, gosh. Oh, that's a that good one. That is a one. great question. Okay. If if Jaws counts as a horror movie, oh, yes. then it's Jaws, <laughs> yes. hands down. I have not gone into. Thank you, Steven Spielberg. I haven't been into the ocean ever once. There's a picture of us in 2003 where she's 
and we're in the water. I'm protecting her from the water. Yeah. The water's there. Oh, uh, okay. The water's right up to there. She's <laughs> over there. Dad protecting her from the shark. That's as much as I go in thanks to watching that. I, I watched would, Aliens as a kid. Loved it. Jaws won't go in the water. I, I, I wouldn't go into a swimming pool when I was a kid after watching Jaws. <laughs> yeah, I'm always so. checking out, like, is a shark coming up to get yeah, me? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I understand that completely. So, yeah, if Jaws counts as a horror movie, it's definitely Jaws. In my book, that's, it's, that's like, a, right there. That's a good one. I'm gonna, I'll give an answer if Jaws doesn't count. Okay, okay. Okay, for traditional horror films. I think it's got to be Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Ooh. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. a good one. Uh, just because yeah. it's terrifying. Like, the, the, it's so gritty and real and raw. And, oh, my gosh, I have nightmares every time I see that <laughs> film. Yes. So, yes. But for horror specifically... Yeah. I think it's got to be that one. And you're and you're the the OG <laughs> Texas Chainsaw. Or are you oh, like oh, the yes. yeah? Of 100%. Oh yes. yes. <laughs> Some of the reboots are good, but the OG is definitely right in there. It, it's so gritty. It's so it's so raw. It terrifies me every time I see it. And, and on yeah. a, on the subject of Texas Chainsaw, uh, we have one of our horror parodies playing at seven is uh, Leatherface put into uh, different Christmas movies. So like, what would Home Alone look like if Leatherface was in it? Well, you can check that out at 7 p.m. tonight. That's called the Texas <laughs> Chainsaw Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll be there. So we're we're, we're gonna, out. with permission, yeah. film it and put it up in case you can't be here to see it, plus links below to how to find yeah. the regular content. The only other question we have, and I'm interested to hear the answer to this, just because he and I have the same answer for question number one is, so if you were in a horror movie, well, be it Jaws or a more traditional horror movie, mm -hmm. What are we saying? What's the one way you don't want to die or the one way you'd want to die? Oh, okay. See, I would not want to get eaten by Jaws. Yeah, How would I die? fair. Oh, I know the answer to that. I wouldn't. I would be the last girl. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down. Though, and yes, that'd be that last and the jump scare at the end of this movie girl. and then, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the first girl, because we all know what the first girl, she gets into a lot of fun. <laughs> but no, I'm a survivor and I'm going to last this Less time. mental oh, anguish as well. I'm the last girl in a horror movie. That's me. I don't die. And me, if I got eaten by a dinosaur, that would be pretty sweet. So that's how I would go. <laughs> That'd be quick, though. It'd be like an up in the air, unless it was the T-Rex where you... But yeah. you could just fall right in the... You'd be better up there, because if you make it into the gullet... Oh, we're just going to stop right there. Jaws all day. I don't want to die I like, that, a, that written on like my the tombstone. Sarlacc pit yeah. kind of acid yeah. dying kind yeah. of yeah. Yeah. So, well, yeah. well, fantastic. Like, we, we could stay here all day and yeah. speak, speak with you folks until you start saying, can we get somebody to get them away from us? We have things to do. Uh, so we appreciate you both taking the time to speak with us, and we do yeah. look forward to uh, thank you. to doing something in the future perhaps, but in through further conversation. So thank you both so very much. Well, thank you so thank much. You. So now I did hear that you are an actress, so can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, yeah, so I have been acting since 14, wow. uh, acting professionally since 19. I uh, started off in theater and then made the switch to TV film about eight years ago or so. Uh, do a lot of commercials, I'm sure you've seen me at some point in a commercial, but uh, some recognizable credits uh, that you might know, uh, Ballers on HBO, uh, let's see, um, Bigger on BET+, Plus, The Right Stuff on uh, Disney+, Plus, and then coming out this December, which I'm very excited about because I'm a huge fan of the show, um, you'll get to see me in episode one of season four of Cobra Kai. So, so I am very, very excited about that. Um, that was so much fun to shoot. And when I found out that I, I booked that, because that was one of my favorite shows during the pandemic, I was thrilled. So, um, so yeah, you can check me out on season four of Cobra Kai. Very cool. Yeah. Definitely check it out, you guys. Mm -hmm.